friends welcome back to my channel beautiful people don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i was watching nc tough tv's recent video where he had talked about an email that he had received that involved usher and diddy the email, in so many words, stated that Usher is at his breaking point and set to expose cringy details about being violated by Diddy. Usher was sent to live with Diddy when he was like 13 or 14 when he signed to LaFace Records. Back in 2016, when Usher did an interview with Howard Stern, he spoke of experiencing some curious things when he was there living with Diddy. There was also a video with Kevin Hart, Usher, and Diddy. And Diddy, in so many ways, embarrassed Usher by saying that the two used to wake up in the morning together and then he hurried up and cut himself off. So, also in NC Tough uh, video, he, he stated that Usher and Diddy are basically going blow for blow, you know, because Usher confronting him about what he allegedly did to him. I have to worry. Uh, I have to not worry. I have to censor myself, basically. And, and re reword myself. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so let's just see the current energy between the two. I always say that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. And it, it may not resonate with you right now. Thank you. I ask that you please put a fiery wall of protection around me during this reading. Show me the current energy around Usher Rainey and Sean Cohen's relationship. Oh, y'all. Look at this. Thank you, Spirit. The lovers in reverse. There's conflict, y'all. There's conflict, conflict within a relationship. Someone is wanting to, they wanted to make a difficult decision. Thank you, Spirit. Someone wants to recover from past grief. These cards is talking about a relationship. Thank you, Spirit. Show me the current energy around Usher Raymond and Sean Cohen's relationship. Show me the current energy. Yeah, someone is defending their self. Thank you, Spirit. Look at this. We have the lovers in reverse doing shuffling. We got the ten of cups in reverse. We got the ace of swords. We got the three of swords in reverse. And we seen doing shuffling the five of cups in reverse. Someone wants to move on past deep hurt, y'all. Wow. The ten of cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups in Reverse can represent something is stopping someone from getting to this peaceful, loving place. Someone is analyzing their life, uh, parts they are unhappy about, and how they can change them. But there's something stopping them from achieving their goals and trying to find, they're trying to find the right path to it. This person is identifying and solving their issues so they can grow and move on. The Ace of Swords is about clarity. The Ace of Swords can mean that a person currently in a, a period of, of change or they, they are about to, to head into like a sudden unexpected change which will affect them personally the 
And we got the Three of Swords in reverse. So we got the two of cups, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Swords in reverse. We got two suit of swords here. Remember, swords deal with like the mental level of consciousness that that's centered around the mind. Someone is unhappy because all the happiness has spilled out of these cups. They are unhappy. They want justice. It's the source they want justice and truth from something disturbing that has occurred. There's deep-seated issues with abuse, neglect, and loss that, that have never been processed. This is terrible. This is so sad, y'all. This is so sad. The Three of Swords in reverse, it can represent grief someone is trying to recover from. It happened in one, they have, they have not been able to fully deal with it. This person wants to heal and recover. I, I feel someone wants to depart from a comfort zone, from like one's comfort zone. And go where there's like a lot of insecurity and unfamiliar conditions. They they want to leave something behind after they bring it to the surface. They want to make this change so they can grow with new experiences. There's inner conflict between Difficulties with moving on and knowing that it's it's time to let something out. Someone has an inability to get going and they feel they feel like they, they're unable to move. They they are tired of, of being silent and being still. I feel someone else is very stubborn and they want to deal with difficulties their way. They want to deal with things their way. This very extreme stubborn person refuse, refuses to confront, confront oneself with others' criticism about them. And, and they, they rather avoid conflict. They want to distance themselves from anything they see as damaging or could be aggressive towards them. I feel there was abuse of authority and attempt to control others with aggression. Yeah, this person in authority want to shut others out because of shame. A person in authority is being challenged and there's conflict with this person. I feel someone wants to let others know the way that they feel and communicate about issues with someone that, that was in authority. I feel someone was to teach or lead and, and others, uh, they, they were to teach or lead others, but this person, they, they bullied others instead, instead of promising something, they, they, they bully others. How do I want to say this? They bully others into promising something, into promising to keep something to their self. 
I feel someone emotionally upset. They they want a profound change. They want to change, but someone brings fear. The person that wants to change, they they tired of complaining. And they want to do something about it. They tired of nagging and complaining and they just won't. They want a solution. Because they became more conscious of something that was painful to them. There's deep hurt here, y'all. There's deep hurt, emotional hurt. And someone reaps neediness and fear. They want to take stock of their emotional state so they can rest and recover. Uh, I feel like somebody wants to like withdraw from the public life. Um, they want to do that because they, they feel like this is the only way that they can move on. They want to end something publicly. But somebody else want to keep something away from the public eye. Someone wants to put an end to corruption. To put an end to a draining, unhealthy situation. Because they feel like they, they can't live a full life. If they don't put an end to something, they are tired of sweeping things under the carpet. Overall, someone has a stable goal to end something. To end something they seem that they can't break away from. They are tired of holding on to this deep, painful hurt wow this is deep y'all and this is emotionally draining for me not only we have to protect the girls but the boys need protecting too we gotta protect the boys too Wow. Spirit, can we get a message? Can we get a message in regards to Usher and Shane's current relationship? A message in regards to Usher Raymond, Shane Combs' current relationship. Spirit, can we get a message in regards to Usher Raymond and Shane Combs' current relationship? Thank you, Spirit. A fiery climax approaches. Someone is fed up. They ready to make a change. What do you need to release? Spirit be knowing, y'all. Spirit be knowing. Thank you, Spirit. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need to let go. This card indicates that a situation has peaked, whether it's for better or worse, but it's time for one to go easier. Someone needs to let something go and stop trying so hard. What do you need to release? That conducts the reading on the current energy around Usher Raymond and Sean Combs' relationship. I'm sending healing energy Usher's way. Wow, this was neat. Thank you all for watching. Be blessed.